there was a leader of Aus whose name was Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh radiyallahu anhu. What a name. Remember that name. We are going to hear about him later on. Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh, one of the leaders of Aus. He noticed Mus'ab ibn Umair had come to Medina Munawwara and was staying at the house of As'ad ibn Zurara radiyallahu anhu. And so he tells Usaid ibn Hudayr, who was his cousin, he says, you know what? These two here, they have come to spoil the belief of our forefathers and to contaminate the minds of the people here in Medina. So go and stop them. Go and see what they're all about and stop them from what they're doing. So Usaid ibn Hudayr, later to be known as radiallahu anhu, he went to Mus'ab ibn Umayr. And he, as he was entering, As'ad ibn Zurara says, oh, this is one of the leaders of Aus. One of the leaders of Aus. So this man comes in and he says, what are you two doing? Why is it that you have come here to mess the, the mindset and what we've been doing all along and so on? Mus'ab ibn Umayr says, hang on, why don't you listen to what I have to say? And then you can make your mind up if it is palatable and if you feel you'd like to accept it, accept it. And if not, we can stop. Don't worry, we won't harm your people. So he says, what is it? So Mus'ab ibn Umayr read some Quran, told him about Islam, told him about Tawheed and not worshipping the idols, told him about Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa And immediately Usaid ibn Hudayr, he bears witness. He says, you are right. This is a beautiful message. I agree with you. And I also bear witness. Subhanallah, look at how many seconds it took them to turn. They came to block, to stop. It took them a second or two and they turned. Subhanallah. Usaid ibn Hudayr radiyallahu anhu, immediately he was known as. The question for us is how many of us are ready to surrender? When we hear every day, this is right, this is wrong. This is the way it should be, this is the way. We wait sometimes in some cases, nowadays that the globe is a small little village, people wait for loopholes. You know when someone says interest is haram, we'll start googling. They call it Sheikh Google, mashallah. Start googling. Who says it's not? When we find the fatwa, we quickly stick to it. I found something else. That's the attitude nowadays. We quickly go and use Sheikh Google in order to justify what we want to do rather than surrendering to it. Come on, it says, Qala Allahu wa qala Rasul. Allah and His Messenger have said this. The game is over. Everything stops at that point. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who can surrender. Because remember, the only way that we can achieve success is to follow the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.